Number 1 Cafe 501. Opened in the mid 1990s, this institution introduced upscale counter service dining to Edmond, Oklahoma City's neighbor to the north. Backed by a commercial bakery and a brand new streetery, Cafe 501 continues to serve its legendary coyote chicken sandwich, brick oven pizza, and house made desserts on the street and for takeout. Number 2 Nunu's Mediterranean Cafe. Lebanese cuisine on the prairie predates Oklahoma statehood. Nunu's Mediterranean is a distillation of that heritage with a few new tricks. The patio is an ideal spot for a tenderloin kebab and a bottle of Lebanese wine. Number 3 The Hutch on Avondale. Once known as the Coach House, which for three decades was the local standard bearer for culinary excellence and fine dining, the Hutch on Avondale has gradually shaken off the weight of its ancestry. Outdoor diners can finish with strawberry shortcake with vanilla ice cream or a brownie sundae, while a cookie flight is a sweet way to end a takeout meal. Number 4 Sushi Nico Sushi Nico became one of the city's hottest spots in the late 1990s by staying a step ahead, as with its serendipitous decision in 2018 to install a sidewalk dining space, where overhead heaters and unique masonry booths offer protection in the colder months. Number 5 BZD's Restaurant and Bar By converting its parking lot along Western Avenue into an outdoor dining room and bar, this legendary music venue gave itself a lifeline through the pandemic. Now Chef Eric Smith's broad menu covers classic burgers, sandwiches, and an eclectic mix of entrees like pad thai, beef stroganoff, and vegetarian Frito chili pie. Number 6 Burger Punk Just before the pandemic, this former burger truck graduated into a full-on burger emporium where Turbo's, the signature coffee slushy cocktail, flow freely on the turf-covered deck. Among the loaded burgers is The Clash, which mixes cheese, fried onions, jalapenos, hoisin mayo, and nacho cheese Doritos. Number 7 Frida For the past two years, the chic, modern Frida has provided a platform for chef Quinn Carroll's interpretation of Southwest cuisine, from queso fundido to short rib empanadas with pepita-crusted chili relleno in between. Number 8 Pizzeria Gusto a wood-burning pizza oven at the center of Chef Catherine Mathis's kitchen churns out Neapolitan pies topped with specialties like butternut squash, lamb sausage, and soppressata, to name a few. Meanwhile, small plates like burrata, roasted carrots and fennel tossed in harissa, and steamed mussels are especially satisfying when paired with the inventive menu of standard and seasonal craft cocktails. Number 9 Social Deck Plus Dining this outdoor dining oasis between the shadows of the Plaza District and Uptown boasts two patios, one covered in the front and one open in the back, along with a menu made for brunching in the sun. Owner Jamie Winteroth credits efficient delivery and curbside pickup to the locally owned Tap Tap Eat app, which helped the restaurant send out tikka masala, corned beef hash, and chicken papardelle during the pandemic. Number 10 Florence's Restaurant Florence's has been an institution since 1952, but it wasn't until the pandemic that the restaurant opened a brand new front porch for outdoor dining. The eponymous founder, Florence Jones Kemp, and her daughter, Victoria Kemp, cook fried chicken, candied yams, and braised oxtail from scratch, and they bake dinner rolls and cornbread daily too. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.